so much for joining us today for Midweek Worship. Uh, we're just going to sing a couple of songs, and wherever you are, whether you're working or at home or out for a run or whatever you're doing, just crank up the volume and sing along with us. so much for tuning into this midweek worship we, we're so excited to be here we love these moments where we could just spend together and uh just sing some praises to our god but also dive in a little bit to his word and that's exactly what we're gonna do thank you <laughs> today um i've been reading a lot in jonah lately and i actually just want to encourage all you guys um wherever you are today there's only four chapters in this book i just want everyone that it would be awesome if we all dove into this story today um, and I love this story so much because even though it's only four chapters, there is so much symbolism, so much packed into this story. Um, and I think that we can really relate to a lot of what Jonah was facing in throughout this story. And if you don't know the story, this is Jonah and the fish. He gets swallowed in the fish and spends three days in this fish's mouth until it spits him out um, because he was running away from what God was really calling him to do. And I think at some point in our lives, all of us, to some extent, run away from what the Holy Spirit, from what God is really calling us to do. Whether that's loving another person, maybe that's praying for a person that we absolutely cannot stand at work. And really, if we put in Jonah into this, into like nowadays feeling, Jonah was being asked to go preach the gospel to a nation that he hated, that he couldn't stand to a people that probably murdered some of his family and all this kind of stuff he was preaching to Nineveh 
and he ran away from the Lord. And I think what's really interesting, right, is because what this really symbolizes is that a lot of times we accept God's goodness and his mercy and his grace. But we always have a problem when God extends that same mercy and goodness and grace to someone or a nation or a people that we don't really like. And as Christians, we are called to be salt and light of this earth. And I think as Christians, oftentimes, we just dump salt and everything. Salt has three purposes. It's to season, it's to preserve, and to kill. And when God calls us to be salt and light to the earth, we are called to, yes, do all three of those things to preserve the word of God in our hearts and in our minds, to sprinkle salt as a seasoning to the non-believers, but also to kill certain things. But I think Christians and us, we kind of get the killing part <laughs> mixed up. We're not to kill other non-believers <laughs> with the word of God. We're to sprinkle and season and bring light and life to this earth. Mm -hmm. We are to kill parts of ourselves that need killing so that we can further the Holy Spirit's work inside of us. And, I, you know, I don't know where everyone's at today, um, but I just want to encourage everybody here. Pray for someone that maybe said something really hurtful to you the other day. Pray for a coworker that you just can't stand. Pray for a boss that's a total butthead. You know, pray for your spouse because she did something or he did something completely annoying to you. Pray for somebody today that you're in conflict with and see the Holy Spirit, see God work through you and see his goodness not only extend to you, but extend to everybody because that's what it's all about. Let's keep singing this song together.
after us, even when we run away from you. Father, there is no height nor depth that can separate us from your love. As far as the east is from the west, Father, we know that you're still there. If we go to the highest mountaintop, you're still there. If we walk through the shadow of the valley of death, we know that you are still there. Father, continue to teach us what it means to be salt and light to this earth. Continue to teach us what it means to be led and guided by your spirit in every word and every breath that we breathe. You are so worthy of it all. We thank you for this time together that we can worship your name. We can dive into your word. so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and we'll see you next week. Thank you.